What's going on? We're going to do a little bit of Savage AF After Dark. We're going to talk about uh, the shit uh, about Ice Cube actually supporting Trump and uh, some of these other corny motherfuckers support Trump. So jump on. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? And I will try to read the comments as best I can. A lot of them scroll up pretty fast, so I apologize. That's why I'm wearing my reading glasses, so I can't do the shit. But Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. I'm waiting for Pedro to get on here. By the way, all you, all you, all you motherfuckers. Oh, you motherfuckers, let me tell you something. Uh, what's up, what's up, what's up? Moni Moan in the building. In the in the building. Yo, every, every nigga in New York, yo, for real, on everything. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're going to uh, jump back on. Um, waiting for uh, Pedro to jump back on. He's pinning the other show up on his page, and then he'll jump on th my page. This is how we're doing it until we get back in the studio. Once, once we get back in the studio, it's going to be on and cracking, so we ain't worried about that. So, so we're going to talk about Ice Cube. We're going to talk about the poll position, what's going on with the polls, and also New York in the building. New York in the building all day, jerks. Um, no. Yes, please. Yes, Ice Cube. We're going to talk about Ice Cube. We're going to talk about one of my favorite UFC fighters. I'm very much into MMA. I actually used to be into not MMA, you know, not mixed martial arts now, what it is now, but, but what it was called before was full contact, PKA full contact. So um, not anymore. I'm old now and I don't want to get hurt. So, but uh, yeah, one of my favorite fighters of all time found out he's a Trump supporter and he's speaking up for Trump and he thinks that, you know, Biden is a socialist, so he's out of his fucking mind, and I just don't even want to even deal with him no more. It's it's it's, it's got on my nerves. So make sure you tell your friends we're jumping on with Savage AF. I see some people jumping back on now. Tell your friends, friends, friends to jump on, and I'm gonna post it down there so you can check it out. I, yo, Ice Cube hated Trump. He made songs fuck Trump, but yet apparently somebody either paid Ice Cube or something happened. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but. We shall see in a minute. I, I'm gonna look for the video right now to see what Ice Cube, yeah. No, yo, you know what I mean? It's just real shit. Okay, there we go with Pedro right there. He probably had to the YouTube to the bottom, and then we're gonna talk about this with Ice Cube. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's a sad day. It is Ice Cube. It's Cube. So, so apparently he has, the, the Trump administration, Trump de Dumpy administration has thanked Ice Cube. Oh, let me straighten this out. Uh, and, and welcome back, y'all. We Savage AF After Dark uh, has thanked Ice Cube for, uh, let me see, sorry. They thanked him for stepping up and helping the administration develop the Platinum Plan, uh, which is meant to help black communities. Um, it says, while the former NWA member hasn't confirmed whether or not he supports Trump, I, I, I can't see how that's up in the air for Ice Cube. Uh, he did release a video on Sunday that showed that he's skepti skeptical of all politicians, but seemingly, especially former Vice President Joe Biden. So, Liz, I'm going to play a little bit of the uh, video for y'all. Let me unplug my headphones and, and hope you can, hopefully you can hear this. Um, okay, let me know if, if it's not. I'm going to rewind a little bit to go back. I don't think we need to hear the beginning. It was a little bit of like... I'm uh, just disappointed beyond belief right now. All right, here we go. Shit ain't gonna work. We ain't gonna survive this. The way it's going. It's just designed that I, I can't see the future. So we ought to change this shit. Um, everybody's been mad at me because I haven't been on the, the fucking... Um, the gravy train of, of these candidates, you know, especially Joe Biden and Harris, you know, I don't, I don't trust none of them. No president has done right by us. So I don't, I don't, I don't trust none of them. So putting our hopes and dreams behind any of them just don't work. We got to make them do what we want them to do. There's only a few ways to do that. Now, I've been making contacts, trying to, you know, talk about these real issues, you know, um, you know 
straight up, I believe the the Democrats have they've been nice, you know, they've been um, cordial, so to speak. You know, I, I don't really see them pushing this nigga in any different direction. Let's, let's hear him out. Still talking this minority, minority people of color shit uh, that don't necessarily include us. That don't necessarily include. Black Americans, especially um, descendants of slaves, um, Ados, American descendants of slaves. That don't, that, that ain't specifically us. It's everybody. We ain't gonna get shit because when you look around, everybody hates us. So we still at the bottom of that. Um, so you know, I think the Democrats they. You know, they got every black celebrity and shit on their team, so they just figure, you know, tell kids to shut the fuck up and vote. And so, I ain't gonna do that. You know, I'm gonna push the program. We got a program, I'm pushing it on everybody. Um, we also met with the Republicans and shit. They, they brought us in, we talked to them. Um, they, they moved their agenda a lot because of what we said. Um, you know, yeah. $500 billion on the table. And, you know, but who knows, you know, who knows what's going to really happen, you know. Um, I just know when I'm going to win. And I don't know if it can really matter to us. We got to just push whoever is in there because ain't nobody really solved our problems. The fuck is Ice Cube? Get to the point, motherfucker. The nigga that loves to, to not get to the point. Black people, we can take anything. Shit. Man, Ice Cube. Y'all good? You slow talking, motherfucker. Get to the point. You getting on my nerves. Hold on, hold on. Right by us at the end of the day, who knows? Get the plan. It's, 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 you know, they're doing a lot when it comes to safety and police and all this shit, but you know, that dough is thin. Everybody, money is thin. We're not going to get no respect in this country without the cash. We ain't going to get no respect in this country without having money in our community. It just ain't going to happen. It's not gonna happen. So everybody could be mad at me, pissed off at me. You know, I don't give a you know, hey, y'all know what it is. <laughs> He's rich. To, to the truth. I ain't about to be part of nobody program. Uh um, Fuck you, Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> nigga you love to hate. Fuck you, Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah. What hey, the hey, fuck would you talk about? Either. That's why I'm sick of yeah, getting what the fuck is like a goddamn you know, stepchild. Yeah, so like, like yeah, you him. know, you gotta deal with the we ain't gonna have nothing going on unless right. you you dopey right. motherfucker, all you. Right. All right, so let, 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 let's talk about what we just heard, because we all, I, I just heard this all for the first time. Um, let, let's digest, let's process this, okay? Ice Cube, I, I'm a, I'm a, Ice Cube, when I see you, homie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, he said a lot of true shit. Okay? The yeah. system is not the system is not for us. Neither party has really worked out great for us. These are true things. Okay? I'm I'm not gonna sit back and just be like, man, fuck Ice Cube. He ain't saying shit. He was saying some shit. He was saying some shit. But at this point in time, I'm not sure how with 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 this current state of Republican with this current state of the GOP. I'm not sure how you can sit back and um, have doubts about both sides, right? Like, right. yes, yes, we can hold the Democrats. We can hold fire under their feet, put pressure on them. But my nigga, right now, I'm asking you to choose your enemy. We got to. Democrats and Republicans, I got you. Yeah. I got you. you. He, was, he, was, he was saying some shit. No, no, trust me. I know, they're, they're, he was saying some neither, shit, neither, but neither he, one yeah, them, with, neither, it's slow-moving, I'm on that purple them, shit. 
neither one of them is working for us, right? We have to put pressure on whoever's in control to do it. But when I'm asking you to choose your enemy, I'm asking you to choose wisely. So if you sit down with the Republicans and they put $500 billion on the table, um, my nigga, that just sounds like a carrot that they dangled in your face um, to, to make you think that they, they really about to do something. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm just asking all Americans, and, and Cube, I know you're listening because you follow so heavy. Saturday, right, yeah. Cube, you, but, you know what it is. Hey, but, I Cube, I Cube, I, but I, which, nigga, I, which, which I, enemy, nigga. Which enemy do you really want to fight? Like, like, yes, Ugh. I agree I agree with you. Both are, neither neither party has done anything for us in, 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 in any grand, grand sense. Over time, we still, we still are in a horrible position in this country. Right. right. Um, I, I'm, I will not negate that, doubt that, or put that down. I got you. I got you. But my nigga, if you're choosing between two enemies and you, don't can't, you can't tell the difference between these two, bro, you, there's somehow you... I, I'm, I, I'm not telling you to blindly jump on any Democratic thing. I'm saying if you're going to hold a party to, fire, to the fire... If you're going to ask them to listen to you, if you're going to fight against one of them to get what you need, which one is that going to be? The cracker he was party? Tough. He or, seemed high. Or at least something's wrong. That they kidnapped his kid. That, come on, Pedro. It seemed like somebody kidnapped his kids or something. That slow talking, it not is. really getting to the fucking point. I thought he was so, doing either they don't know or they don't show. show. And they don't give a fuck about J us J in the hood. Janelle J J Paradise. Nigga. Choose your enemy is like picking your poison. I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating it at all. I'm not saying we have these great options in front of us as black voters. I'm not saying that. Like, like Ice Cube said so prophetically, one of you motherfuckers going to win. <laughs> okay? So at that point, nigga, pick your poison now. Yeah, that was just corny. Yo, he sold out. Fuck that. In he his could, with his own wisdom. word. In his infinite one of these, wisdom, one of them, one of them gonna win. So okay, Duh, you, all right, nigga, you silly yeah. you're right. I'm so one sick of these rappers, win, asshole. So which one yeah. do you want to fucking win, dick? I know five hundred like, billion dollars on the table. Away. That maybe, like, dog. and it was yeah. If you can't see that was a carrot, and all you people just like, hey man, Ice Cube's still a realist. I heard you miss Adverb saying Ice Cube's still a realist. Yeah, he's the realist, slowest motherfucker to explain himself, and then at the end, one of these motherfuckers gonna win. Oh, you silly ass. You know what? And you wasn't good in the the Triple X sequel. How about that, bitch? You was oh, yeah. not good in the Triple X sequel. It was, it was barely double X. You. It should have been negative but, X. <laughs> yes, it was. It, it, it was horrible, 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 horrible. It was um, horrible. And you know what, Ice Cube, and you also in that space movie, nigga, you shouldn't have been there. Also, in Anaconda. I ain't like you. I ain't like you in Anaconda. I wish the Anaconda would have got you, but he didn't. But it's all, like... He's the, he's the same nigga in every movie. Who used to do that joke? Tommy Chun. Tommy Chun. <laughs> he got, wait till y'all see my new movie. It's gonna be like a whole nother thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty much the same shit. He's the same shit. nigga in every movie. Yeah, so he's not, uh, he's not even an actor. He's just Ice Cube. He may not got a snake this big. Yeah, it's yeah. just stupid. That's <laughs> what Tommy, Tommy Chun. Yeah. Shout out to Tommy Chun. Very funny Detroit. comic out of Detroit. Very One of the top cats out of there. But aside from that, I'm telling you right now, what it did was it disappointed me to a point where not only him, there was another blow I got this is a one blow, and then I got another blow just now um, of yesterday. Uh, one of my favorite fucking fighters of all time, comeback kid of all time, um, you know, Jorge Masvidal is a dang huge dang. Trump supporter. Yeah, he's a huge dang. Trump supporter. He's called Street Jesus. Used to be he used to fight in the streets with Kimbo Slice, and now the motherfucker, <laughs> yeah, because he always says he baptizes motherfuckers when he puts them to sleep, and he does. And the bottom line is now I find out he's a Trump supporter. He jumped on that train because the dude he's going to fight is a Trump supporter. You know, uh, uh, Kobe Covington. So it's just all the people that I thought were cool, they're not. And then there's some also some black actors that are saying it. Morgan Freeman said, there ain't no thing is racism. Morgan Freeman said that corny shit. So I'm starting to be like, fuck all these no, no. people that that I look up looked up to. I didn't look up to them because, you know what I'm saying, I don't look up to them like that. You're taller but than still, some of them, yeah. Fuck them. Oh, my God. Miss, Miss Ice Cube, what do you mean one of these people going to win? Which bitch? Miss How Adver about that? Says, you, hey, Miss homie, Adver which bitch, homie? 
Miss Adverb says voting for Biden, Biden is voting for blue lives. Swallow them balls. Okay. But at, 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 at the same time, I'm going to offer you a plate of testes okay, for you to swallow, which is that voting for Trump or not voting at all is, is voting for cracker Trump. lives. No, cracker yes. lives. It's yes. like cracker, cracker lives matter to Trump. Okay. So, and I know there's a lot of crackers in, in the blue movement, but Miss Adverb, you know, I, girl, I want to play with your nipples one day, I swear to God. But here's the thing. You, 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 you got to understand that whatever, whatever heinous thing you can come up with to Joe Biden, and you can go all the way back to 1873 to look at his record. Right. Um, you, you could double it in one year of taxes with, double, with Donald Trump, right? Like, this, this nigga, in one year, I'm sure has done more egregious shit towards it. I mean, look at the Central Park Five. Like, come on, like. Donald Trump is a race, like an outward racist, okay? And maybe this, is a by, maybe this is a byproduct of growing up in the North in Michigan, where at least the crackers just stay in the woods and dare not come to the city of Detroit and talk well, about well, you better not dog. come like, out in the dare, woods. Like, nigga, never, ever would, would have busted your whole ass open, dog. So I, I, I'm more used to that. Like, I, I you know... But what did you think, man? Open what did you think? Ice like Cube didn't even actually make a fucking definitive statement. It was so flip, no. whip, flip floppy, no. wishy washy, and he let that carrot be dangled in his fucking face. Make a decision, bitch. We got two weeks. And oh, Miss Amber, no. it will not kill you to vote for Biden. Okay, it would only take a little bit of your soul away. Okay, but you can get that back by spending a day in the beach, getting some sun, and 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 having a michelada. Okay, that that'll replenish right. your soul. I swear to God, it'll get you right back to where you need to be. Um, and I, you know, Prime Minister Tate, regardless who gets in, it's a no win situation. Disagree. I, 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 I won't, I, you know, I can't say that it's going to be a win for us as a community once if Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, and, and Joe Biden get into office, but I would say we have a better chance of fighting for the things we need as a community with a Biden Harris administration than we do with a Trump Pence. And that, that, that's just my, you know, $500 billion on the table and not a million, whatever you said, whatever, like that, that's just on the table. It's not in your account. It's not in your pocket that you right. know what I mean. That's, uh, first of all, she said, but I'm <laughs> Gilchrist says, but I'm in Brooklyn, Pedro. What beach? Um, uh, take your ass to Coney Island. Don't they Jones yeah, Beach? Uh, they Moni, got beaches. Moni, 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 Moni. Let me you tell know, you, you got, I know her. You know you I know her. I know Moni. You. you got beaches Moni, in New York. You on the Moni, coast. Moni, you knew what the fuck he meant. You know what the fuck man. Take the fucking coast. Go somewhere where you can chill and get yourself back together. Miss Adverb, if you're feeling Billy down, and you know, take do what you do is you what you do is you jack off a squirrel, you grab some of that squirrel semen, you rub it in your face and make your face look real young and 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 and, and shiny. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel come. Squirrel, uh, it makes it makes women's face very glossy. That's what I heard. I mean, I ain't never did it. I'm just saying I heard. And yeah, you know mm -hmm. what? And you're right, uh, AJ Fit, he has his record is he got more L's than wins. But it's just fucked up to see somebody you thought that was that cool is a Trump supporter. When you look at an ice cube that is wishy washy and he never been wishy washy before like that. And he just seemed like he was high. He seemed like he was not high in a cool, fun A hey, Ice Cube is talking to me high. He seemed like he was like drugged. He really looked drugged. Like, I don't know. Yeah. You know, with, you? for somebody, and AJ Fit 365 says militia is killing us, hanging us from trees still to this day. No, that's not militia. We talked about militia yesterday. Those are terrorists. Yes. Okay. That's terrorists. Militia either helps an army, fights against an army, um, or is a lawful citizen who, who can back up, you know, the state. What, really? these, what these what these cracker monkeys are doing is terrorism. So not militia, but I get your point, AJ Fit. We know. Yeah, but we Ice know, Cube. Ugh, Ice Cube with so that revenant he beard. Has, he has too much influence to be thinking out loud about this. Like I need a nigga like this with so many followers and so much influence to actually think this through on your own, my nigga. Like, these are personal thoughts that you should keep in your fucking brain. Right. Okay? And only the inside of your ears should hear it. 
It should never be heard outside your ears, okay? Figure out your political stance and then and then put that out in a solid way, my nigga. But don't sit here like, I don't know. I'm, Biden, you know what? I, you know, I ain't with Biden Harris and I ain't with, neither one is good, so I don't know. The Republicans put money on the table, so I don't know. Well, if you don't know, shut the fuck up and figure it out. <laughs> and then talk yeah, about you. what you know, my nigga. Like, I like your music, though. He was so right. Like, listen, I grew up with a paper route. Uh, it, it, like, when I was a freshman in high school, delivering newspapers, east side of Detroit. And I would deliver half my route with the, with the, with half the route I was listening to Red Man, the other half I was listening to Ice Cube. Like, I would listen right. to one on the way there and one on the way back, right? Right, righteous, righteous MC back in the day. Yeah, but you know what? I'm sending him a message right now. I'm sending Cube a message right now. And I'm going to send him a message, man. Nigga, I'm going to be like, nigga, like N I G G. Uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, just. JD, JD Linepad, he was definitely thinking out loud, yes. But it's like, you know, when we talk about brain farts, nigga, I just smelled your whole headspace. Like, I can, it, it smells like sulfur and goat ass and motherfucking cow dung and chicken right. spit. You know what I'm saying? Like, your brain just farted into the world. Right. Into the and, that, whole and, world. and it got like, a million global. It got a million views. Buster Rhymes is on there saying, well said, thank you, King, to Ice Cube. Uh, uh, yeah, Buster Rhymes is on here. Like, I need, so you, he's, he's I need, idiot I need him. fucking... Yeah. Buster, Rhymes, Buster Rhymes' neck is thicker than his shoulders at this point. It's, like, wider than his shoulders at this point. Like, I need you yeah, to get but, that together. Reproportion your body, first of all, Buster. 17,000 comments... Um, um, over uh, uh, one million six hundred forty thousand views. So there's a lot of people listening to, it, and the ice keep saying, "Don't kill the messenger." Yeah, nigga, kinda, kinda. You're not, but he's not just the messenger. He's the message. It's not like somebody was like, "Ice Cube, could you tell the people that that, that I'm not sure about you? You ain't a messenger, nigga. You are the source. Like these are your thoughts, okay?" You're not a messenger, asshole. When 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 you say "don't kill the messenger," that's literally like when you got to show up and give somebody bad news that has nothing to do with you, right? It's like, ah, right. guys, I'm I'm so sorry, but we are out of the halibut tonight. Don't kill the messenger. <laughs> you know, like, sorry, not my fault. I don't order the halibut. I don't cook it. I don't work in the kitchen. Okay, is that don't yeah. kill the messenger? You're like, hey, guys. Uh, your, your, your check is going to be late. It's not coming on Friday. It's coming on Monday. Don't kill the messenger. You know what I'm saying? I'm not HR. I didn't do your, I didn't, I'm not accounting. I don't, do <laughs> I don't do the thing. I'm just telling you what they told me. And this is what it is. It's just information. Don't kill the messenger. This was not information that Ice Cube gave tonight. It was, it was, not booty, at all. Ju it was booty juice from his mind. Okay. It was, it was, it was, they were anal thoughts. Okay. From your, the ass cavity that lives inside your head. And right. nobody needed to hear that. This Nobody, yeah, exactly. Matt, so we're not uh, giving uh, a messenger. You not, you didn't even give a message. You just gave a bunch of ass meat out of your mouth, and that doesn't do anything for anybody. So, and Senge Ben Yosef, it's like, it's not a, it's not. We're not saying he's fucked up because he doesn't agree with us. I'm saying he didn't even have a formulated thought. He just put a bunch of shit out there to convolute. Right. And listen, it was people, a, there it was a paid advertisement. That's what They're, Matches Three Sixty said. It was a paid advertisement, and um. You know, I, either he got paid, he got a check, something happened. Um, but I'm, I, I don't I'm know, saying, man. Like, he just... figure, figure out, like Ben Yosef, I'm telling, I'm telling him, I'm telling Ice Cube, he needs to figure out what the fuck he thinks. And don't sit here pondering shit like this. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I, I, I even appreciate you sitting down with the Republicans. Because honestly, at that point, you could call out bullshit once you sit down with them. If you never sit down and talk to them, then you can't. You can't call it, right? You could sit here and speculate about what they did and what they would have done and blah, blah, blah. But what they did for black folks, them, yeah. Yeah, but once you sit down with them, at least you can have an assessment. So that, that's fine. That, that's fine. And I'm not telling anybody to just jump on a wagon. What I'm saying is, what the fuck are you looking at, though? What are you looking at? You're saying he, he did, but we're not listening. I feel like I heard the brother. I feel like... I acknowledge the, the, the parts that I agree with, right? Which are that both parties historically have not been about that life in terms of black life, right? They have not been about us. 
Right. I acknowledge that that's the only solid thing he said. But then in this, he's like, he's, he's just pondering. He doesn't know who to vote for. He doesn't know which, you know, which one would, neither will be better for us. We're not going to make it through this. We're, you know, not going to be vote, able to vote our way out. I, I get all of that. But all of that is brain fart juice, right? Like that, that is just but, dookie, dookie smoothie, right? You just took shit, put it in the blender and made it drinkable. But it's not anything right. that's good it's for society that, right now. It like, was just like, blah, 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 no blah, 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 there's no one of these motherfuckers that... gonna win. Nothing. Somebody. It was nothing. And now that I know that, now it would be stunning if he hits me back. Because <laughs> I don't know the nigga. I only met him once. But if he get, if he like, who this motherfucker calling me nigga? It's like, yeah, man. And a million, and of course, other people will come on my page. Like, what the fuck y'all talking about? You gonna see this? We gonna see, nigga. And he That'd does have crazy. To... <laughs> he does have the CWBA. Um, who brought that up? I just saw it. God damn it. Uh, but it is a, co it, it's, what does he call it? The contract with black America. Yo, Suleimani said straight out of Trump's ass. <laughs> here's, the, here's the thing, right, Cube? Here's the other thing. We, we've seen the other meetings with black people, right? The black pastors who met with Trump, Steve Harvey, uh, Kanye West, right? We, we've seen it all, bro. Like, we have seen him bring in black people of influence and throw money on the table. I'm using air quotes for those who Completely. can't see. But he's thrown money on the table for all of these people. And they've come out and said, Trump is about us, and he's the only president that does this. And, 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 and okay, then you're going to say, well, black unemployment was at its lowest under him. Due to what economic policy directly initiated by Trump? If you can name that, if you can, because niggas can never name the fucking policy that goddamn Trump initiated that, that put black people ahead of this thing. And you don't want to fucking acknowledge that these are they don't want to do the research, man. policies that have carried over. But name right. the fucking thing that Trump did. Also, that understand, he created that. Yeah, right. Also, exactly. That he also created. Understand, also understand that under the Trump administration, the number of black doctors graduating from medical schools has dropped. OK. So the jobs that he's gotten for us are, how would you like to supersize that? It's not the MD, PhD route, right? It's the right. nigga put on his headphone and worked his fucking drive through. These are the, he gave y'all the- Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, it's, 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 we got, we got um, everybody hates underscore cold silly said, even Dave Chappelle supported Trump. No, Chappelle said he was gonna give him a chance and then after that he does not support Trump. At least to my knowledge, and if he does, then that's another motherfucker. Sometimes you got cut niggas out your life, and when I see him, and I do see Chappelle, and I know y'all going, Chappelle "Oh, look at some new name song. dropping ass, light skinned motherfucker," but it's true. I really do know these niggas. I really do got their number, and I'm telling you, that was that was fucked up to see Ice Cube be wishy washy like that. And he seemed high. He seemed like he was on that purple purple. He looked like Amen. he was like. Man, I get, I get oh, high no. too. Steve Harvey See, no, no, too, back, no, no, no. but Steve Harvey we been be slap you know. happy for a long we, time. He needs to switch strains because the we be letting you know evil lurks, and he was in that movie. Chris Chris uh, Tucker said that to him, so Cube should have sucked that up. You know what I mean? Like he should, Craig, Craig. <laughs> you just want to run up to me like Craig? Right. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, but no, Chappelle. Don't, Chappelle don't buy doesn't that. know. Don't buy yeah. into that, Chappelle. Chappelle lives in Ohio. What the fuck does that mean? What so the does fuck does that got to so do with LeBron anything? LeBron James got a house in Ohio, too, my nigga. <laughs> like, they wrote nigger on it. LeBron <laughs> James like, I, and I'm one of them. Ha, 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 ha. No. So living where you live is, I'm from cracker ass Michigan. No, see. Outside of Detroit where I grew up, I am from a cracker ass state. And if you live in, I don't give a fuck who, if you're in America, you are from a cracker state. You might live Absolutely. in a hood. Well, in no, like, there's a couple in places. A, in a, couple places. No, 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 nah, nah, I nah, nah. There's a couple places. State, homie. Oh yeah, state. Um, any, yes, any yes, blue, yes. any blue state has some blue counties with with, then, with with concentrated populations of Democrats. But if you go outside of that, red, 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 and it might only right, be right, three right. No, no. But it'll Michigan, be, it'll be Michigan, the three motherfuckers that hunted down uh, Ahmaud Arbery. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like Georgia. That, 
It's Georgia, right? So Atlanta, Ahmaud Arbery might be safe, but out there in Crackerville? Not Atlanta, safe. Not safe. Not safe. So let's, let's just, you know, let's, let's No, but that, no, if you, Pedro, if you look at it this way, I mean, obviously, but, but since we, we're, this is a Savage AF brought to you, you know, by the world famous Laugh Factory, we're doing a little Savage AF after dark because we were hit in the face with some, you know, some shit about um, Ice Cube. Cube. Ice Cube, nigga. Um, and it's hey, just hey. funny, not just Ice it's Cube. Like, Let's no, go no. across the board. That I, apparently Candace Owen uh, uh, put his pussy, put her, his pussy, put her pussy on his head and the pussy juice got in his brain and made him think a different way or something. I don't know what happened, she but the bottom line is it. a lot of these black celebrities that are rich do have a tendency to flip-flop, do have a tendency to lean that way because they're like, well, I'm rich and he's down for rich people. So, and that means that they really don't have enough spirit or soul when I, you know, and by the way, I wasn't saying I know everybody. I know a lot of comics and the celebrities because, you know, me and Pedro get around. We go to the parties and shit. And the niggas know me. You know what I mean? But um, it's I just feel like Ice Cube, that was such an unnecessary. So, and ben, it's going to put people on the fence. I'm looking at the comments yeah. now, and I'm like, what ben, the fuck? Ben, ben Yosef uh, keeps saying that we're not listening to Ice Cube. And, and honestly, I feel like I did. Again, I'm going to say I acknowledge what I agree with. But I, I, you know, I'm not sure where he was going with any of what he posted, right? Like, it, these, these are your personal thoughts that you should keep to yourself till you work this out. Because he wasn't, he wasn't solid on either side of it. So, so Ben Yosef, I'm, I'm going to tell you, just and rather than telling us what we didn't hear or that we, that we didn't hear, could you tell us what we didn't hear? What, what did I miss that Ice Cube was saying that I haven't acknowledged here on, on this feed right now? Because... What I'm telling you is that, yes, the man, is, he's calling out the system for not working for black people, right? B Republican, Democrat, Absolutely. it don't matter. He, and we, we can all agree with that, or we should right. acknowledge that, right? I, I, I agree with that. But when I say, so, so then, then you have to say, okay, we need to hold both parties accountable, right? And push both parties to fight for us, right? Because there are black Republicans, too, and, and whatever. So... Um. Yeah, you you gotta. We we need that, but but in terms of power, right? In terms of control of executive and legislative branches, um, which party do you want in majority control that you're gonna deal with? That you're actually going to negotiate right. with? Because be able to actually under, negotiate under, under with this, under this and reach. Administration, if if you're gonna say that neither party has worked for us, then you're acknowledging that. Under these three and a half, almost four years of Trumpy Dumpty, it hasn't worked out for us. Ask Ahmad Arbery. Ask anybody this year. Ahmad Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, right? Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rashad Brooks, was it? Like, ask ask right. any of these. Ask any of these individuals or their families or the loved ones who who've lost them. Um, if, if things have worked out, if the Trumpy Dumpty administration has done anything specific to help you out right. more than anybody else. Yeah, but yeah, no, I mean, Pedro, that's the, absolutely the point. And we can go down a laundry list of all of the fuckery that he did. And it was over and over again. Not only the misogyny, the racism, the sexism, the xenophobia, the fucking, you know, incompetence. It's on and on and on. So just from that standpoint alone, fuck him. Feed him rocks and take him swimming. He is an incompetent. He is a man child. He is a narcissist to the point where he's dangerous. Do you understand that? There's no gray area. So for like, so for you to say, I, I don't know which side, I don't know what place. I, all you undecided motherfuckers, man, how it probably take you ten days to order food, bitches. Fucking ten, like I would, I don't know. I like the sandwich, but I like the tuna. I like the tuna, but I like the oh motherfucker, make up your mind, bitches. Look at the fucking look at the rating out in the restaurant. If it says A or B, cool. But if it says F, and you still going, uh, I don't know. I know it got an F. But they uh giving me they a make free a sandwich. Mean potato salad. <laughs> I love yeah, the they, they got a mean <laughs> potato salad. But the other than that, the best. yes, there's cockroaches in it, but that you need meat when you eat potatoes. <laughs> so I mean, stop it, you dummies. And I know that oh shit, 
if whoever comment back back to me from because there's other people in his feed that are commenting to me now because I'm telling oh, you right now, you too. I do. I'm dead serious. You. That's what I was doing. I was typing to the shit right now. I would inbox the nigga, but his inbox is down. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, next time I see him, I say, the fuck's wrong with you, Ice Cube? The fuck's wrong with you, young man? Because I'm older than him. Young man, come on, man. So Ben Yusuf, I know what you're saying. You didn't hear him. I understand that. In the middle, yeah, fuck them and fuck them. I've all, I, I understand that, but this is not one of those fuck them, fuck them. It's a false equivalency. There's one of them that's really, really fucked up, and there's one that's suspect. There's and, one and, that's and super listen, duper fucked up. The one that's the one that's suspect is probably gonna die soon, and then we'll have our first black woman president. Okay, right. So, damn, are y'all not looking at the long game? What the fuck? But. Realistically, I, and, you know, I, 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 I've never said that Joe Biden is our savior, okay? It's just the devil I'd rather deal with. Right. And that's all it is. It's like, bro, bro, listen, listen. The reality is if, let, let's say LeBron James, right? If he could have picked any team, if, if, if he had the, if the Lakers had the choice of picking a team, to play against, you know, the competitor in you is like, I want to be challenged by the best. Nigga, if you want to win, just pick the fucking goddamn, pick the Cleveland Cavaliers to play against, right? Like, <laughs> pick the worst team in the league and, and kill that shit, right? So all I'm trying to do is pick the easiest opponent to play against in, in this social playoff game where we're trying to get rights, we're trying to just – live up to the goddamn constitution, right? Like, just have black people be included in America in a real fucking way. That's all we're asking. Right. For. Yeah, and but that indecisive shit, man. When, when y'all niggas are, like, contemplating dealing with Trumpy Dumpty another four years, and this motherfucker can't denounce white supremacists, he can't... He, he uh, shouts he, out he, the fucking... He says, he says Black Lives Matter is a, is a terrorist organization. I mean, I, come on. Joe Biden might not be doing all the things to lift up all the Negroes in America, but he ain't out here talking about Black Lives Matter is uh, a goddamn Miss Adverb. organization. Yeah, Miss Adverb, yeah, you say Biden's a liar too. I, I hope that, I think that's what you're saying. Not to the epic grand scale of, like, if there was fucking monks that lived in a mountain, Trump would be the monk teacher of lying. He's a pathological fucking liar. He's always been that way. People in New York always hated him. They hate him. They don't dislike okay. him. They hate him. They've been hating him. They okay. know he's full of shit. The, all the people that he gypped that were construction workers that he didn't fucking pay. The fact that he pulled out a full page ad with the Central Park Five. On and on and on. Trump okay. University. Trump stakes. On and on and on, this motherfucker's a failure, and he tries to act like he's not. Y'all get on my nerves with that shit. But like, yeah, but fuck Kamala. And then all you all you women, and I'm not going to say all women, but I'm going to say you selected bitches that are like, I don't like her because she light-skinned, or I don't like her because she thinks she's smart. Bitch, she is smart. Fuck you. All y'all stupid, stupid. You bunch of stupids. Y'all should have a uh, y'all should have a sitcom. Da 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 da. The stupids, cause that's what <laughs> God, y'all make my ass itch. You make my ass itch. Booty, and it's not booty cause itch. I didn't wipe. I washed my ass, but y'all now you make my ass itch. That's the most yes. irritating thing you can have is an itchy ass, and that's what you're being if you actually still saying that dumb shit, that on the fence shit. You better vote this right. orange cunt stick out of office, or I swear so to God, you are gonna have. He, you saw him loading his fucking clips. We got Pedro. They're still here. They're still this five five two. This military grade, homie. Um, I mean five five six. My bad. So here's the thing, uh, Ben Yosef. I'm gonna touch on, on this one more time with you because he says this is what you don't get. The Constitution wasn't written for you. I both agree and disagree with that because the writers of the Constitution, the the authors of it. They no, they did not have anybody. Us in but, mind, yes, but white, you're right. But white men in mind, right? Like they left women out of it, and and natives and Latino, any any other thing besides them was besides left out. white men, right? But, but right, right, right. But also understand that it is for us. The Constitution is for us. We deserve it, right? 
So just because something isn't written for you, right? Okay, I'm, I'm a, we've talked about this. I went to Princeton University. Princeton University was not made for black people, right? At all. It was not but, made for women to go to. It was not made for black. But I, as a nigga, went there and graduated and can still wear my letters proud and my colors proud because while it wasn't made for me, right. it doesn't mean I didn't belong there. So while the Constitution wasn't made for you, it does not mean you don't deserve its protection. Yes, just like the motherfuckers who wrote it, you might have to buck and fight for that shit, but it is for you, my nigga. The Constitution is exactly for you. It's for me. I want the Constitution. I'm going to fight for that motherfucker. You understand me? That's all the fuck is going on, homie. It is for you. All that shit, we are created equal. Nigga, ain't nobody above me. That's what are you talking about. Dog, this but shit is you, for you. You better fight for that shit. You but no, me? no, 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 no. They're not. You know what? I've had these conversations off and on, and I understand Ben. No, it wasn't written young, for you, but you deserve it. You just, yeah. It's like there's a lot of shit that wasn't for you. There's probably that bad chick. that's like eh, maybe she's not for you, and then you get her. Uh -oh. Nigga, yoga, yoga was not made for me, but I found but, the benefits of it. It helps. Yes, one of the greatest workouts I've ever had in my life, my nigga. Okay. And so okay, yes, and Miss Adverb. You, now, Miss Adverb, you can try to go with me. I I'm not a cold silly. First off, Miss Adverb. All right, let me tell you what it is. This is the situation. <laughs> Shame all right, love you. <laughs> she's stupid, man. She's stupid. <laughs> and Ms. when Adverb I see her, when I see her in the so streets, crazy. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe my hand and my ass. I'm gonna smack you across the face twice. <laughs> How about that? So you are gonna get a shit. <laughs> That's the worst shit ever. Yeah, Duke, you gonna get Dookie a shitty cheek. smack. Dookie cheek. A dookie cheek. Ah, ah, what is <laughs> What's that, that smell? Shit? That's going to be a question you ask all day. What's that Not smell? only do it hurt, but you do it like this. <laughs> no matter which <laughs> way you turn, you get getting dookie <laughs> cheek. Did you smack, you smack me, eh? Oh, nigga. Oh, yeah, listen. This she is said, what the deal she is. She said you went off on her for nothing. So I, I, I Miss ever I was fucking around. I wasn't going to spike do my ass don't, and don't smack have, your face. Don't have, a, don't have a sergeant at arms. I was paying attention. Eve, <laughs> Eve, Eve, you can get smacked too. But all y'all can get the dookie smack. Y'all want the dookie smack? Because it could, it could go down. No, I'm saying the fact that I see these people that are acting like they're in between, they don't know. I don't, nah, man, black people don't, we ain't, fuck that, we ain't part of the system. Yeah, because then, you know what? Then we need to make sure that we part of the system, take over parts of the system, and make sure the system works for us. We, the, yeah. the more you sit out on the sideline like, man, I don't know about this basketball <laughs> thing. Nigga, get in the game and play. How you know you can't play unless you play? Yeah. And Mr. Adverb, I'm going to see you in these streets. <laughs> uh, oh, Adverb. Of, of, course, of course, Cold Silly, who's back in the building, says Adverb deserved it. And that's because she has your skull on a fucking mantle right now. And he, he just wants his <laughs> skull back. He just wants his, he skull, just wants back. his skull back. <laughs> she she did some predator shit. But Miss <laughs> Adverb, all I'm saying to you is, and everybody else that's in that on that fence, like, I don't know, man, you know, the Democrats, McCamela, she locked up 1,200 black men or whatever the fuck and didn't realize, didn't even stop to say, first off, did the black men actually do some crime? Out of that 1,200, was, was one of those motherfuckers guilty? Probably. I don't know if you know about the crack epidemic. But there wasn't no white people putting crack in our hands and make us kill each other up in Harlem and up in fucking Bronx that was doing that shit. There is a certain point where it is kind of us a little bit too. Not well, no, completely because the system's fucked up. But and bottom the CIA, line the CIA, is there's some the shit we did that we are we were are accountable for. Well, I will I will challenge that a bit. The CIA did put the crack on the streets. Okay. I mean, you got to sell it. That don't mean you got to sell it, though. I'm, okay. it, look, he, he said you guys are emotional and thinking long-term and totally missing the point. <laughs> when is thinking long-term the bad part? <laughs> like, how is that bad? I'm it's not like, emotional. You guys have a plan for the future. You're not thinking about yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. How is thinking long-term? I'm not term emotional. Bad? You got... And, and I'm, the, this is emotional shit, for sure. How, how are you not emotional right now? My nigga, like, I, what I'm saying is, the Constitution is for you. It is. No matter, no matter if, you, if you understand yourself as a man, as a woman, as a human being, no matter the color of your skin, then you need to understand that. Listen, that's what the civil rights movement is about. It's saying, you know what? No, this, these rights do apply to me. 
and I'm going to protest, march, uh, defy, and fight in some cases yeah. to to prove that. So, I, you know that the, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm thinking long term, dog. I'm not like oh, I'm not voting this time because we ain't got no good options, nigga. Long term, that's gonna fuck you in the ass, homie. Right. Long term, you gonna eight end up years with more Trump, conservative. Eight you years. Up, you end up with more, even more conservative uh, justices on these benches. Okay, setting laws to keep invalidating your black ass. Okay. We talked about yesterday how Bitch McConnell worked hard to leave uh, about 150 judge, federal judge appointments open right. that they totally just ignored from uh, Obama, the Obama administration. So we would have more progressive federal court circuit if, if Obama had been allowed to do what he does, right? But because Republicans took over the Senate, because maybe niggas like you didn't vote for your senator in your state, um, you get that. Okay, so you can focus on Biden, Harris, and Trump, Pence, uh, but you understand that that, that that your senators, your your representatives, your mayor, your local DA, all of that is important, and all of it's on the ballot. You got you got to vote. You got to vote or shut the fuck up. Because well, yeah, you, you, then then you're thinking short term. Because I don't know what your other solution is. Yeah, what when, when, like, and I kill people. When people like, say people, yeah. they're like, they're like, yo, you got to get money and do this. I'm like, nigga, laws are what has kept us from getting money all these years. You think niggas are like, should I buy a house or a crack rock? No, you buy a crack rock because you only have twenty dollars this week, and right? And crack makes you forget about food. So then you and just you know what? It, and you run and go, oh yeah. And then you're not thinking about how hungry you are. You know what exactly. I'm so, then you're not thinking about hungry, but then you get. Like then you want more crack. Access. And then, not, yeah, niggas have not yeah. had access to the system that long. So, but going back to Ice Cube, I want to say this flat out. I get it. And he says, "Well, the money on the table." Number one, you are ultra rich, and your voice means something to a lot of people. And as I'm looking down your feed, it looks like a lot of people believe in you and whatever else. When you put that wishy-washy shit out there, then other people go, well, you know, Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? That motherfucker ain't really down with it, so you know what I mean? Maybe I ain't down with it. Stop being that fucking dummy. That dummy. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, there's an obvious choice here. It's obvious. If it wasn't that obvious, I go, yeah, they both kind of know. This is pretty obvious. And with each passing day, as this Trump goes on his COVID fucking super spreader tour and not gives a fuck about that doesn't give a fuck about us doesn't give a fuck about anything at least least motherfuckers like on the democratic party act like they like you you know what i'm saying i know it's that's bad but at least they a little bit of empathy i don't see none of that shit from the republicans i need to see nothing but hypocrisy and bullshit hypocrisy yeah. and bullshit lindsey graham said oh we're not gonna put on the supreme court no not not in an election year. And then now they're trying to slam dunk her through. Not trying to. They're going to slam dunk her through. Even though now we see when they, she's been questioned, she actually got some fucking shit that's not cool. Real, really fucked hey. up. She's, so, not, she's, not, she's not for the workers. She's for the corporate. She's not for the workers. She is a, you talking about they don't like elitists. She's an elitist. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Look here. And it's not me getting emotional, Ben Yusuf. So I think uh, you take that back. You take it back, you <laughs> motherfucker. Son of a Stay monkey nice asshole. Things. Just savage AF, y'all. Fuck your feelings if you don't like <laughs> what you're saying. Prime, <laughs> Prime, Prime, Prime Minister Prime Case, uh, says uh, what will get things changed is beyond voting. I, I, agree, I agree with that to a degree. <laughs> um... But you can't get beyond voting without voting, right? If you bypass voting, that's not getting beyond it, right? You have to participate in voting in order to get beyond it. So once, and I've been saying this, once you, once you vote and shit doesn't go right, then you can fucking complain. Like I said, in 2000, 20 years ago, as, as, a, as a youth, 23 years old, right. that's when I learned about the Electoral College because I saw that most Americans had voted for Al Gore, including myself. But Me too. George Bush won. And I was like, this don't make sense, right? But by participating in the voting process, I then had 
a huge complaint because I'm like my vote along with all these other Americans who in a majority voted for this one candidate that got shot on. Right. Yeah. And then white and then wiped across my own say they dirty Sanchez America. Right? right. They wiped their own shit stain on, on my upper lip. And we've been selling smelling that stench for 20 years. Right. So but by participating in that process is how I found out. So. Right. That, that, and so, also. So and, and so again, Prime Minister Tate, and I, I know you're with us. It, it, it's not that voting is the end all be all. It's right. One of, it one of the ma- it's one of the many things you have to do to be right. a full participant in this process so that if you ever feel the need to challenge it, you are fully justified in it because because you're part of you it. Tried you tried to participate. You, you right tried to participate. You know what I mean? And you said, Ben, you said, said nothing is going to save black people from what we have to do for ourselves. Not today, not tomorrow, not in a, not a hundred years from now. So we may as well not do it now. I agree with you. We need to definitely do more shit now. But what does that got to do with the fucking situation no, no, here? No. Yeah. You don't agree with him. I'm telling you. Because he's saying we don't need to participate now because nothing's... No, no. I, oh, like okay. That's, I'm sorry. I'm saying... But that's yeah, not... At, at least the way you read it, that's how I heard it. But so... Okay, no. So, okay. Voting without economic power to back your vote is useless. We've been voting for more than 100 years, bro. Exactly. Right? But we haven't been voting for more than 100 years because we have had our votes suppressed for more than 100 years in many, many, many ways, right? And you got to understand that economic power comes through political power and vice versa, right? The two go hand in hand. What I keep trying to say is the reason we don't have economic power is because of politics. And the reason we don't have politics, political power, is because our economics are weak, right? So they go hand in hand. You have to fight for both simultaneously. That is the struggle for us. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh, we, oh, oh, <laughs> like that's that. Yes, that is the situation we're in. That's the song we got to sing. But you, you're you not going to just go get money, my nigga, and then not do anything politically. Right. Because the politics will fuck up your money. Right. The politics will prevent you from getting the loan you need. OK. The politics will prevent your property value from being assessed in the correct way. So that you can't flip your mortgage into some kind of loan that you could use to advance your life, right? In a way that makes sense. Uh, The politics will keep your family away from resources, whether they be education or food and water, right? So it's all tied in. You have to do both. You can't just... Get money, my nigga, and build it. It's like, no, nigga, they will politic your ass out of a neighborhood and not allow you to buy a home. And, and right. It's so, right. So, okay. what, what I'm saying is so what I agree money with. And then sit right where you are right. and never be able to advance out of that. No, no, completely. I, I, I agree. With, I, what I agree with is us doing for ourselves. Absolutely. That's the part of it I, I agree with. The other part I don't agree with is everybody else doing that dumb shit right now. And also, I mean, uh, and they're pretty on the left and right said, you know, what they're doing pertaining to the census, what they're doing, yeah, right, 2020 census. The Supreme Court is trying to stop it, so there are people that won't get help in certain neighborhoods, and that is a fact. But aside from that, getting money does not automatically mean, well, the changes come. There's going to be blood, sweat, and tears. We get it. We on the bottom of the fucking total pole in a lot of ways. I understand them, but you got to fight for it. You got to be part of the process so you can fight for it. If you ain't part of the, if you sitting on the side and say, man, we could have won that basketball game. Yeah, but nigga, we was one man short and your ass was sitting over there on the side, nigga. If you would have just got in here and blocked a couple fucking shots, maybe we could have won. But your ass sat on the side. See, now you're making me talk like this. Look, look, nigga, your ass sat on the side (laughs) and now... We didn't lost, nigga. If we lose by one vote, nigga, and you, it was you, nigga. If it was you, I swear, nigga, we're going to find you and we're going to fucking have a dance off. It's going to be a dance off, nigga. Right. So whoever lose has got to leave the country. Not having your own economic system prevents you from all of that. Stop being a fool, yo. Um, okay. So you, you should. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead and send that message back in time to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to Black Wall Street, to Rosewood to Greensboro, right? All the, all the communities yeah. where we built up our own economic system 
got torn down, right? And politically, they've been prevented from being built back up. So, Ben Yosef, black kings and queens have already built up our own economic systems in the past, and they got torn down, right? And politically, that destruction has been upheld and fortified, okay? So, while building up economic power, we also need to do the political things as well. It has to, to be a combination to protect, of both. To protect the economic power, right? Because essentially, Black Wall Street, Greensboro, Rosewood, these, these, these are stolen lands at this point, on top of stolen lands, right? So, I don't hear you fighting to get those back. You're trying to then repeat that history, I think, without addressing mm -hmm. the political aspect of, but the government will still come down on this, right? Like, right. any organized black money movements, they get, they get crushed, right? Like, that, 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 that's the history of this. So, let's not talk like, oh, you know, this is something we've never done before. We need to, right, talk, we about how, we need to talk about how to attack it in a different way, okay? And right. that is economically, politically, and I also believe physically, my nigga. And when I say I'm not joking, I'm not. Like, I'm really not joking, dog. It's, like, it's got to be a combination. I filled out paperwork for my AR-15 today, which I'm going to pick up in 10 days, okay? Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not out here bullshitting about this stuff, Okay. I am going to vote. I am, I am trying to disseminate information. Okay, my nigga? Like, we are really trying to do this the right way. But I am also not about to sit on my porch with a Biden-Harris sign and just waving an American flag with a sparkler like, I love barbecue and hot dogs. Okay? <laughs> well, you know, who doesn't love bar barbecue? Day. Like, everybody right, loves barbecue. Don't, don't play, everybody don't, don't loves barbecue. Like don't, play, don't play us like we silly like that. Man. Yeah, like, man, this, but it's, you know what? Enough of that. that. You know what? He, it's, it, you know, there's a certain point. I get what you're saying, you know, back and forth. But listen, man, this is Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory. Yo, man, make sure that y'all subscribe. Subscribe. We got about three minutes before I've got to bounce because we did another extra hour. This is uh, Savage AF After Dark. Make sure that you uh, check out the uh, podcast, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, <laughs> iHeartRadio, and Spotify. What is that? My cousin Matthew said, "Just don't shoot your mailman." I, I listen. <laughs> now I'm not just I'm not just at the door like, who is it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, the you know? acting like like he's gonna be in there going, "I've been waiting for this." No, it's, it's not Drop that. Drop the fucking burger, Uber lady, and get the fuck out! Put of it down! I'm not, I'm not Put it down! What? What? Put it down! <laughs> Put the fucking mail down. <laughs> like it ain't like that. So I also no, want to make sure that you guys. Oh, and by the by the way, cold silly. These are not called clips. These are called magazines. Okay. It's yes, they're called not a magazines. Listen to too much. Yeah, this is not. It'll ruin your brain. A clip is something you use to attach the magazine to your belt. This is called a fucking magazine, not a clip. It's called a magazine. Yeah, but cold silly didn't know that. But cold silly, cold silly, unfortunately, was touched as a child. So no. aside from that, aside from that, make sure that you guys check us out and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's a new YouTube channel. We just put it up. And, well, no, Eve underscore, um, you know, I'm going to say Eve the Queen, uh, if she's still here. I don't know if she's still here. Definitely, um, she, uh, she's helping us out a lot, pertaining to that aspect, and we appreciate her immensely. Also, make sure that you go there, put in Savage AF Podcast in YouTube, and subscribe. Now, I haven't been checking it. But hopefully we got some more subscribers. We got to get to uh, you know a certain number <laughs> to really make this shit pop. So Miss Amber like, stop talking to Cole Silly. <laughs> She's like, I have his skull. You can't speak to him. Okay, oh, my, bad. Oh, my, my bad. My bad. My yeah, bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? That, so hey, put, yeah. That, so that's our sergeant at arms. She don't play. She she <laughs> is she is verbally strapped <laughs> with with uh with verbs and noun bullets and all kind of cartridges so yeah she went in uh, on yeah we oh, silly, but he, he cool as a motherfucker even though he likes to dab his mangina when he's hovering over Pernucci. the toilet Pernucci. <laughs> or man yeah i call it mangina <laughs> listen um yeah i can see you eve but we can see you eve there's a lot of fucking shit to read here don't think i could like i can't you didn't see what i just wrote <laughs> we yes, love I'm you 
Yeah, it's sometimes it's, I don't. It, it, it's hard to keep. Sometimes up with I don't, motherfucker. This, this is what we love about this community that that has formed here in Bonded is that you guys do stay so active on the 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 comment feed. And sometimes you're not even talking to us. You know, a lot of the times y'all are just going back and forth with each other, which I love. Um, I know Ben Yosef earlier was like, let me on the feed so I can talk about this. And before us, before we even said anything or could say anything, <laughs> Miss Adverb, he was like, that's not how the show works, nigga. You ain't getting on. Like they, they already right. exec produced for us. They're like, no, your booking has been canceled because you made it yourself. <laughs> exactly. I'm sorry. And that's not the way the show works. Type your ass right, off if you and, and plus, if, if Instagram works this way, and we have everybody come in and we start a whole argument fuck fest. Also, speaking of Ice Cube, I want to show y'all this real quick. Um, Ice Cube may be I'm not down. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, Snoop Dogg has been using his music and everything, not only his page, and Snoop Dogg is an advocate of voting against Trump. So, and I know they're boys, so I don't know what's going on with with him. This seems, this, and Snoop Dogg I mean, let them. You know. They let him use his music um, when they said, uh, when you when the pimps in the crib, man, and they show people going to like drop their hot. vote off, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. So I'm just saying, there's some people that get it and some people ain't, and some of you people are going to be like, well, I ain't down with the system, and I get it. But sometimes you got to be part of the system to change the system. And, and I'm not acting like, suck up and let everything happen. Like Pedro said, I'm not going to be sitting there just with a, with a Biden horn going, Beep! Biden, bro, Biden, yeah. No, it's not that. You got to just, you got to vote when, then work got to start. It can't just be, I ain't voting, I ain't working, I ain't doing nothing. So you got to vote when, then hold them accountable. And yeah. trust me, I have a torch to hold at their feet. Trust me. And I'll be lighting that bitch up as much as possible. The end of the day, we got to make sure that we obviously build in our communities. I get that, but it's platforms. It's 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 politics. It's it's economics. It's a bunch of different platforms. Everything's not just one thing, nigga. I ain't voting. Fuck the world. It can't be. So if you want to fuck the world, why don't you just, you know, not be here then? Go go yeah. to an island and live by yourself and don't live by any rules. Cause I people who say that shit, I go, yeah, you don't, you ain't down with none of the rules, okay? And I'm not mad at you. Go where there's no rules. Show me the place where there's no rules, and I, yeah, and send me a letter from that motherfucker. You know why you won't get a letter from there? Cause there won't be no post office. It won't be anywhere to mail shit. You know why you won't be able to get on the computer? Cause there ain't no rules. Guess what? You won't be able to send me the email. That's the way the world works. That's the way it is, and that's it. Savage AF, all up in your grill. Boom, bam, Real face. smash. Real face. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like yeah. it's hot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man. You know, let, 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 let's make sure that we, like, like, like I've said a million times, we keep talking about, oh, I hate Joe Biden. Oh, I hate Kamala Harris. It's like that's not all that's at, at stake, man. You know, your your daily life in your town, in your city, in your state uh, is is usually more affected by those down ballot people. So. Right. Like we were saying last week, do do your research on uh, the propositions, the initiatives, uh, the you know school board members, the right. the local DA, right? Like go 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 figure that shit out, okay? Right, and they're sending if, out if, a lot if, of information so you see both sides. Both yeah. sides, one side will tell you what's up, one side will tell you the negative, one side tells you the positive. So make sure that you. Do your research. Do your research. That's like when I was looking for uh, car insurance. I did my research. When I did, when I was looking for life insurance pertaining to my kids, I did my research. That's just part of it. I didn't just, hey, life insurance, pay it every month. Cool. Bam. Done. No, I did the research. Once I paid, I was like, oh, I keep them accountable to make sure that, that everything, when I pass away, is good for my kids. That's the way it fucking works. So, uh, yeah, uh, cold silly, uh, cold silly, cold sores. On your Panosi. God damn, Eve. That was that was worse than some shit I was saying. Miss A Miss Adverb is labeling him cold Sally as well. So that you know, that's all good. Yes. <laughs> so listen, because I'm gonna bounce out. I wanted to make sure we did this extra. We and thank you guys for hanging with us so much. We appreciate y'all. Um we appreciate most of y'all. Some of you motherfuckers though. We'll be back tomorrow so, though. So Yeah, we'll Everybody be back tomorrow, six PM. But I don't know if we're gonna do six PM uh if if the if the if the doing uh town halls is. Yeah, the town halls, the, the town hall off. 
which is basically what it is. It's a town hall off. Um, both of them are going to be, one's going to be a little bit more substance, one's going to be a little bit more batshit crazy. Um, so we will let you know, but most likely we're just going to fuck them. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow, you know, and then Friday, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to be in the house. Make sure you tell your friends, friends, friends when we jump on here so our numbers go through the fucking roof because y'all like what the fuck we saying. And I know Pedro got on your ass a little bit, but that's the way the motherfuckers got to do sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You should have, you know, Shane, watch your, watch your mouth then, nigga. That's just the way watch it your is. Mouth, and then Pedro don't got to get on your motherfucking ass on there. Probably so we will see you tomorrow night. Salute to you. We appreciate y'all. We see y'all. Right. Late. Late.